Hi, this is Rob Bremer, and I'm going to do a quick video. I hope it probably won't be quick. Um, I'm sending out your angels. God's recently given me some pretty cool revelations about sending out our angels uh, because the Word of God says that the angels hearken to the voice of the Word and that life and death is in the power of our tongue and we are supposed to command our angels or send our angels out because they are ministering spirits, ministering spirits sent to those who would inherit salvation. That's me and that's you. So, um, this is some of the revelation that, uh, that he told me. The first thing he told me is, well, I was listening to Kat Kerr, and she's one of my favorite teachers. Uh, she teaches about heaven, and uh, she teaches about how you, how God takes her to heaven and shows her heaven, and how her mission is to show heaven is fun, and, uh, about, and that heaven is holy, and, and she teaches about it anyway and that the angels are sent to minister to us and so she would teach on that and I'd, I'd have questions and I'd ask God questions you know you know help me understand this a little bit better how can I command my angels where does it say that in the scripture so he gave me some scriptures which I'm not going to do in this video but one of the other videos on my website or on Facebook uh, if you go to my Facebook page will tell you the scriptures and how and why we can command angels but just recently, God gave me some awesome revelation on how to, or why, or what to say to send your angels to do what. And, and so I'm going to share that with you. And the first one was that he showed me just like yesterday was I have three animals that I have to take the animal shelter. And I absolutely hate to take my animals to the animal shelter. I make my husband do it because I will cry on the way. I just, I just get attached and I don't like that. So my husband does it. But... These three animals were downsizing and we can't go out and minister. We can't do stuff, stay out late because we have too many animals to be taken care of. We can't go visit grandma in Florida because we have, you know, six animals. But well, now we're going to have three. Um, so anyway, so God said, why don't you send out the host of heaven to go before you and before your animals to the animal shelter and prepare the family that is going to get them. And he says, pray that the family will make a covenant with these animals to give them a forever good loving home. I thought that was cool. He said, so send the angels out ahead of your animals. Tell them to manifest themselves to the animals and keep the animals peaceful and not fearful because the animal shelter is a very fearful place. Cause them to give the animals, my animals favor and cause them to be recognized by the people. Um, anyway, um, so to do that and he said do that just like uh, Abraham sent out the angels with his servant to go before them and to get Rebecca the wife so I thought well that's really cool and then then I thought well my my son needs a wife and he's not looking in all the right places and so uh, he told me to send the host of heaven out my host out to go and get my son's future wife so he doesn't have to go through all these experiences and everything, but he can just meet her, know it's her, and she knows it's him, and you know, and so on. So I did that. So that's one of the ways that I sent my hosts of heaven out to minister, uh, because they are for my whole family and everything related to my family, because we're all saved. And so the other thing was, we have are in the process of a buyout um, for the land, the home that we just sold. My husband built a home, and so we sold it, but we're letting them make payments, and this company had, wants to buy it out for us, and instead of making payments, we get this lump sum. Well, we have a list of stuff we want to buy with this lump sum. First of all, God said to send out the angels to cause us to have favor with this buyout people, and the favor that who are buying our house said that they would you know everything would work to our to our favor and it would be a blessing for everybody all around so we sent out the angels to do that then we created this list of all the things that we want to do with this money pay off our land and buy this and take care of that because we're building a house paycheck to paycheck debt free except for our monthly payments which we're believing God will be paid off because it's a cabin anyway so we made this list and we started downsizing this list because we don't have enough money in that buyout to pay for the stuff well, God said, don't downsize that list. He said, send the angels out 
to go on a scavenger hunt. How cool is that? He says, read the list off to the angels and tell them to go do a scavenger hunt and bring those things to you. Um, either they're on a bargain, they're a sale, somebody has an extra one, doesn't want it, somebody drops it off at the doorstep, falls out of the truck and it's laying on the side of the road or whatever. Send the angels out to do a scavenger hunt and to get everything on that list. So I thought, wow, that's really cool. I'll do that. So I did that. And then he told me to do this. And this is something that I've been doing for quite a while, but he told me to do this for my spouse, for my husband and me. He said, for your husband and you, um, send the angels out to go and get all the restoration and the harvest from all that you have lost and haven't been restored and the harvest that you haven't gotten, not just for you, but down your ancestral line and down your husband's ancestral line. You know how curses can be passed from generation to generation? Sicknesses and diseases are curses um, and they're uh, generational passed down. He says, well, do this. Um, do this for your generation, for the generation of your husband and the generation, your generation, and send the angels out to get restoration for everybody in your generation line that hasn't received restoration for things stolen from them. Send them out to get the harvest uh, from the people in your generation behind you and you that haven't gotten the harvest for the things you've sown into the kingdom for you and your husband. I said, well, wow, that's really cool. I'll do that. So I send them out this morning to do that. And then the last thing the Holy Spirit told me today to do is he said, everything you set your hands to do is supposed to prosper. But right now I'm setting my hands to have a business where I publish mostly Christian books for $300. And I also, for $300, again, another $300. I'm sorry, people are calling me when I'm doing a live broadcast. Don't call me when I'm doing a live broadcast. Anyway. So my business is to promote authors uh, and to pay $300 and I create a website for my authors and I bless them. And so he said, send the ministering angels out to go and give the authors that have contacted you that are interested in you publishing their book, but they might not have finances right now. Go out and send the ministering spirits to give them the finances that they need to be blessed to publish their book. So everything I set my hands to do shall prosper. So I sent the angels out to do that. So I thought that was really fun and really cool. And one other thing that um, God said, when you have a sickness or a disease in your body, send the angels out. Or when you're praying for somebody who has a sickness or disease in their body, to send the angels to go to the, um, the warehouse in heaven that has extra body parts and tell the angels to go get the body parts and, and bring it to you or put it in the person who you're praying for. So I just wanted to share those really cool revelations God gave me on how we are supposed to use our servants, which are ministering spirits, sent to minister to us. And, and most of us do not use our uh, ministering spirits. And another way I send them out and I said, um, go out, pull down every stronghold, mindset, um, high thing, everything that is height, depth, width, length, and breadth that is a barrier that hinders me from walking in the fullness of God, every mindset and, and so on. And I send them out to tear down any strongholds in the enemy, the places that I go that um, no evil would be manifested, uh, that I would be safe and protected, that I would have favor when I'm buying things. My eyes would be open to see what it is I need to buy that day or uh, and hear the voice of God. So I just wanted to share that with you uh, about the angels and that we are, to, we, they are our servants. They are sent to minister to us because we are a spirit, we have a body, and we have a soul, and the angels are to minister to us, and we don't send them to work, they're bored. And, and so God told me and showed me how to do that, not just to send them to protect me and to provide uh, for me and for people I pray for and so on, but that they get bored, that they, they need to go out and, and work. And also I've been listening to um, uh, a guy, I forget, forget his name right now isn't that terrible but um, he um, he teaches on what each of the hosts are like and, and uh, when I get a better revelation on this I'll share it with you but I see a lot of lions almost all of the angels that I see in the sky and pictures that I take that I'm putting in my book uh, that I'm gonna be uh, producing a book that has pictures of the hosts of heaven I see in the sky um, 
almost all of them look like lions. And he said that the lions are, are and Cat Kerr said this too, are our royal guards, but they also are there to make sure that the words that we speak come to pass. And I thought, wow, that's really cool. So I must be speaking the word of God because they're all over the place. And once I've seen an oxen, and the oxen represents, a, uh, it means they're there to do a certain job. I, I don't remember what, but um, the guy's last name was Pearson. Uh, Pearson, I don't know if it was Robert Pearson. Um, anyway, uh, he teaches about going into the courts of heaven um, and when you pray for someone to be healed or you to be healed and it doesn't happen, it's because there's uh, some legal right that Satan is using against you in your generation most likely or in something that happened recently and you go to court and you plead guilty and you don't argue, you just plead guilty and then um, God uh, gives a you know, you covered in the blood of Jesus, no matter what the Satan accuses you of, the blood of Jesus covers it, and you go to heaven, and you win the court case, and then you enforce it on earth. Mike Pearson, that's his name. Anyway, um, really interesting, and I've been doing that, and some stuff's been changing and rearranging, and it's really excited, because we are created. We are a spirit being, so the supernatural is natural for us. It should be everyday life. The spirit realm is who we are. And we have this physical body to make contact with the physical realm. But we are a spirit being and spirit is the parent of physical. So our words create. And so, um, and our angels are our ministering spirit sent to minister to us. And our whole armor is part of our weapon weaponry too. So anyway, my name is Robin Bremer. .net is uh, my website. Go and check out my stuff. Share this video with your friends. Uh, comment now and later on uh, if there's something you want to ask me about ask me or something you want me to share or teach you know uh, put it down there and um, I'll, you know I'll ask the Holy Spirit if I can do that anyway love you all just love to share with you by the way when I sent the angels out to go to the scavenger hunt they were going pew, 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 pew. they were going crazy they absolutely love being sent out to go on a scavenger hunt to get the things that I had on my list the things that I wanted and needed so, um, do it. Send your angels out. They love it. They love it. They love it. And they love you. Anyway, my name is Robin Bremer. I'm at the laundromat now, getting ready to do my laundry. So, I will talk to you all later. Bye-bye.